Just be out with us to the US Virgin Islands. See you in St. Thomas. actually been here before and we stayed here the entire week at the Marriott overlooking the cliff. Now we are doing a Circle Island tour. We were going to go to the Marriott and kind of show you what that looks like but unfortunately the Marriott has been sold and now it's just vacant. You can't go there. So we decided to do a Circle Island tour and we're going to tell you whether it's worth it or not. St. Thomas have two cruise ship ports. We are at one of the ports. As soon as you get off the port there is lots of shopping bars and restaurants but the tours are only sold all the way at the entrance or the exit of the port there are just few guides with a uh, little uh, pamphlets that show you where the stops are and there are also taxi prices you will see a board with taxi prices and we figured the taxi prices are pretty high to go to the beach on the opposite side of the island is 25 21 dollars per person one way so for us it would be over $80 just for the taxi just for the beach but on this tour we get to go around the island and they will drop us off at the beach but we will have to catch uh, a taxi later so let's get started with this tour and see if the tour is right for you the tour is two hours here is our little car let's jump in just, just be, be out, out with us Since this is an open air bus, our driver just explained that if anything flies out, maybe your head, or if you drop something out of your bag, or maybe if you drop your bag, in order to reach the driver, you have to press the button over here, then the driver will stop and then try to retrieve whatever you lost. short five minute drive from our port the crown bay we arrived to our first stop it is a lookout so from here you see the closest beach to the port uh, emerald bay beach it is not the official name of the beach but they call it that because of the emerald hotel so uh, the emerald hotel is there that's why they call it uh, emerald beach and it they used to also call it mosquito bay because back in the days it was only nothing there but mosquitoes right behind Emerald Bay there is an airport commercial airport and all the types of airlines come here previously to that it was only a military airport but they actually extended the airport the sh airport strip out into the sea to make it uh, longer for larger planes and behind uh, the airport on up on the hill you will see the uh, US Islands, U.S. Virgin Island University, and they also uh, building a medical center right above it. It's a beautiful stop. I hope the weather will clear up. Right now, it's overcast because we are supposed to be dropped off at the end of the tour right at that beach. Our second stop on this tour is Brewers Beach. It is just a short drive from the airport, looping around the airport. And this beach has white sand. Um, it's not powdery white sand, it's more compact, but the water is very clear and it is known for snorkeling. It is a quick 10 minute stop. It is drizzling right now. So we're not going to stay uh, too long at this stop. U.S. Virgin Islands are actually made up of three islands. This one, uh, St. Thomas, St. John, and St. Croix. They are very close proximity to each other. They only have one governor and one power plant that is located here on this island. Can you imagine? 
the power plant on one island but it powers two other islands that is really fascinating at this stop you also get a chance to get some refreshments and use the restrooms and if you love shells this is perfect place for you to pick some colorful shells as well and now on to the next stop we are now at the Perseverance Lookout and on the clear day you can see a view of two Puerto Rican islands, Vierques and Culebra and a partial view of Puerto Rico and if you are on Puerto Rico you actually can see uh, St. Thomas as well. From here you can see how the airport strip actually extends out into the sea and uh, we flew from when we come, came here last time on a vacation we stayed here for a week and and we flew from Puerto Rico on a smaller plane and the plane ride is only 15 minutes from Puerto Rico uh, there are 50 islands surrounding St. Thomas and uh, island hopping is pretty popular here of course not all of the islands are inhabited but if you take a private boat you can actually go closer to some of the islands and enjoy the private islands Unfortunately, today is overcast and we cannot see the islands in the distance, but if you come here and the weather is perfect, you'll be able to see them. Now you're probably wondering why I'm standing by this tree and posing. Well, it's not for a photo, but it's for this particular tree. This is called a manjack tree and it's right here at the Perseverance Lookout. Now this tree is special because back in the days, they used to use these leaves to wash dishes. Now you might think leaves to wash dishes, like don't the leaf, the leaf just disintegrate into nothingness? No, this is tough. I don't wanna kind of rip it, but if you feel it, the surface actually feels, the texture is like a Brillo pad, like one of those scouring pads, that's exactly what it feels like. And the leaf is very durable, so they would rip the leaves off and actually scrub the pots. It's pretty interesting. I am standing under this tree and if you know, you know, this is what's called an almond tree. And an almond looks like this. Now the almond is actually on the inside and it, it contains a seed and then you have to crack the seed and then inside the seed is the actual almond where you could crack it right here and actually eat it and you'll taste the almond flavor. It's pretty cool. It's in a lot of the um, Caribbean islands. And as soon as we got off, there is a, a roundabout with some um, rum uh, represented statues like pirates and uh, different statues all around. And uh, there is an ice cream shop uh, right out front. And in this place, you can find the world's famous banana daiquiri. They have sold over 7 million daiquiris. So as you walk into this facility, it is massive. They have all the international flags hung on the ceiling. And as you can see to my left and to my right, there are many, 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 many souvenirs you can buy here from t-shirts, hoodies, hats, refrigerator magnets, scarves, water bottles, bracelets, sunglasses, hats, you name it, they have it here. You'll be able to find it. This place is really massive. And also, um, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, tour buses that come here. This is the highlight of the actual tour. This is the pinnacle of it. This is not only a highlight, but this is the highest point. You can come to actually see the view of the cruise ships below and, and all the different the, the town that's below and everything else, all the different islands in the distance. So it's really cool. And of course, you could get your drink on here. Behind me, you see there's the bar. And what our tour guide basically told us is if you're gonna come here and you're gonna drink, you wanna come here really quick, come all the way to the back of the store and get your drink because the lines sometimes are super massive and it'll get you late on the bus. They only gave us half an hour to kind of get our view and get our photos in and, and, and see everything. So it's not a lot of time. So, you know, that's why he mentioned if you want to drink, come to the bar, get your drink first, and then go ahead and get your 
view on. If you've been to St. Thomas before and you came to the mountaintop view, let us know in the comments, did you get any of this world's famous banana daiquiris? How did it taste? Were they really strong? Did, did you get drunk off of one drink? Because we did. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a comment below. Now let's take a look at the view. We are now at the mountain view top. Well, the view is definitely worth it. On the clear day, you can see so many islands over here. At the uh, foot of the uh, mountain, you can see Megan's Bay. And I can see it from here. The beach is so pristine, it's gorgeous. And even though the weather is overcast, well, normally, how do you judge the water? By the weather, if it's sunny, the water looks looks blue and nice if it's overcast it looks all gray not Megan's Bay even on an overcast day like this the water looks so blue it is gorgeous the peninsula that is sticking out right there houses the mo one of the most expensive houses they start from 2.5 million dollars there are a lot of celebrity homes right there from here you can see Tartola you can see St. John. It is only a 20 minute ferry ride from St. Thomas to St. John. It is fascinating. Okay, we can't resist. And now that the line is shorter, a lot of people came, they got their drinks, they're out on the balcony, they're looking at the views. The line is only like two or three people deep. And it's time to get us ourselves a daiquiri. The last time we had it, like I told you, we got a little tipsy. We're gonna try it again and see what we're effect going to it has on us. This time. Yeah, we're gonna split one. We heard that this gentleman right here is the person you need to go see when you get your daiquiri. And that's by a local that told us that. So we're gonna go on his line, JBO tip. So the prices go for a small one, eight ounces, it's 10.95. 15 ounces uh, uh, souvenir cup is 14.95. And number three is the 21 ounce, which is 16.95. And that is the colorful cups that you see hanging on top of the bar there. That's the big boys. And then after they pour the daiquiri, they top it off with some rum on top. So, yeah, double trouble. And they use cruisin' rum. Mm -hmm. And here it is, the famous banana daiquiri. Now, you probably thought we were going to get one of those big cups. But yeah, no, we're not. We're not drinkers like that. But we are going to taste. And if you notice on top, you see that movement on top of there? That's not because the daiquiri is melting. That's because they top it off with the rum on top. So look at that. Let's give this a try. Bring back old memories. So what you want to do is, because the straw is all the way at the bottom, I'm getting most of the banana flavor. What you want to do, all that rum on top, you want to kind of incorporate that. You want to mix that all in. That way, as soon as you get a sip of it, you, the rum hits you right out the gate. Mm. Boom, don't let that rum sit on top. Bring it all the way through. This tour is truly a scenic tour. Right now we are at Drake's Seat Lookout and from here you can see Megan's Bay a little bit closer. There are a lot of catamarans uh, in Megan's Bay. The, Megan's Bay is actually a national park so there are no resorts right on the beach. The nearest resort is a mile away from it but the scenery is absolutely gorgeous even on an overcast day. And another beautiful lookout point, sightseeing point. Oh, if you come here on a sunny day, this will be absolutely spectacular. From this point, you can see our cruise ship port, uh, Crown Bay, and Haven Sides. This is the second cruise ship port. The capital of St. Thomas is Charlotte Amelie. You can see it right below this lookout unparalleled views of the Caribbean Sea, islands in the distance on the clear day, you can actually see St. Croix from here. Uh, you can also see a Marriott Hotel where we stayed uh, quite a few years back. It is located on the cliff, gorgeous location, they are remodeling it now, so it, soon they will reopen and it will be a luxury resort. If your ship is docking at the Haven site, right 
at the port you will find all the luxury stores Louis Vuitton, Prada and etc uh, but to get from our cruise ship port Crown Bay to Heaven Sides it's uh, it will cost you eight dollars one way to get there by cab right next to Crown Sides Port, you will find the cable car when we visited st thomas last time we actually took the cable car on top and it's a beautiful scenery but now the prices went up exponentially and it is 25 dollars per person just for the cable car plus your taxi if you are docking at uh, crowns bay the store is only 38 dollars and look how many stops we did how many gorgeous sceneries and lookouts we saw we saw the caribbean seaside we saw the atlantic side of saint thomas this tour is absolutely worth it technically our tour guide offered us to drop us off at the beach emeralds bay where we started the tour actually that was our first stop but because of the weather it is overcast it is a bit chilly we feel for some jacuzzi time so after the tour we will just head back on the ship and relax in the jacuzzi for the rest of the day and of course in this area you will find locals selling souvenirs a water one dollar ice cold beer five dollars and there is also restrooms here as well we just got back the tour was actually longer than two hours but very informative we had a really good time um, unfortunately again the weather didn't really cooperate that well of course it could have been much worse it could have been raining which it wasn't but it was just really overcast and it was drizzling lightly at times so when you come on this tour what would be optimal is that it's bright and sunny this way you could see all the distant islands because that is a part of the tour you go up very high up in the mountains and you get to look out into the ocean and you get to see all the distant islands and that's a part of what you, you're paying for and unfortunately if it is overcast or cloudy you won't get to see it so it's a little bit disappointing but it's to be understood but overall it is $38 per person cash only I think it's worth it absolutely and it's definitely JBO, JBO approved. approved just a few side notes when you are taking these tour uh, tour vans tour buses they all basically are the same it's open open door open window type of buses they hold about anywhere from 18 to 22 people a JBO tip is that whenever you are taking these buses you want to sit on the driver's side on the outside on the driver's side mind you side. yes the drivers do drive on the left hand side here so you want to sit on the far left why because most of the things you are going to see and want to see and things that they do point out along the way while driving will be on your left hand side these van seats hold about five people and if you're on the far right or if you're in the middle and you're trying to take a photo or a video of what they're showing you as they're driving by you're gonna have people in the way of your shot so if you like taking photos and videos and documenting your your journey then you want to sit on the out on the left hand side that way you get to see most of the good stuff you don't have to worry about taking a particular tour that will go somewhere that other tour companies won't they basically all take the same route they take the same locations because the only place they don't go on the island is far east because that's where all the locals live and there's really nothing happening there they take the west side north and then they come back down into the middle so you don't have to worry about choosing the right tour mm -hmm. any tour you choose they will be taking the same route mm -hmm. now mind you what happens is a lot of times when you go to these points of interest you will see a lot of these tour vehicles there as well because they're all circling so you know yeah, there's a little bit of jostling to trying to get the best shot or it's crowded when you get there so you might have to just wait a little while so you can get the opportunity to take your photo or to get a view of what it is, whatever it is they're showing you mm -hmm. All the vehicles are the same type of vehicles that go there. The tours have the same stops and the prices are the same as well. So you don't have to worry about picking a tour that is better than another. And we've heard other tour guides that are taking tour groups. They are also very knowledgeable and they explain you different things along the way. So no matter which tour guide you choose, you will still have a great tour. We're about to head back onto the cruise ship, jump into the jacuzzi, maybe have a quick lunch or something, grab a bite before dinner, which we're really looking forward to. Our next stop is... 
Saint Martin and we have visited Saint Martin before on the Oasis of the Seas and we loved it there. We went to Maho Beach. That is the beach where the planes land right above your head. It is a really cool experience and we documented it and we will leave the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and if you haven't, subscribe to our channel. What are you waiting for? We have great content for you where we make informative videos to help you get the most out of your vacation. So be sure to subscribe. In this series, we're doing two back-to-back -back cruises to the Southern Caribbean island. We just finished the epic sailing on the Norwegian epic through ABC islands. Uh, the ship tour pros and cons first impressions and here for Royal Caribbean you can expect the same the full ship tour ship pros and cons and first impressions and of course we'll leave that video towards the end of this video it should be popping up right now and you'll see a playlist so be sure to watch those videos as well and we thank our members for supporting our channel if you would like to contribute consider becoming a member or just click the heart button below this video thank you so much for watching and, and as, as usual, usual just be, be out, out with us, us.